All right, I've got my front end here on our 55 F100. It's sitting on our 98 Ford Ranger chassis. It's just sitting on here. I do have it bolted in the rear on the top and the three bolts that bolt the front end for the fenders to the cab. The hood is just merely sitting in the position. I took the hood hinges off so I can easily sit it on and keep it in exactly where I need it to go so that I can check my gaps and make sure that this front end doesn't need to be raised or lowered. Um, what I've got to do now, I've actually cut the Ford Ranger front frame horns off on the frame so that I can actually make a cross member to bolt up to the factory two bolts on that lower radar support. I'm keeping the radar support that's in this truck. I'm going to keep it in there, but it's not going to be what holds everything together as for my radiator and condenser, but I will make brackets coming off of that. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be fabbing up a cross member going from one of the frame horns to the other and then building a piece off the front, probably using C-channel angle iron and then drill two holes, make my rubber bushings, two bolts to hold the front clip into place. But that's what I'm doing right now. I have these in place on both sides to hold it up. So that if I need to raise it and lower it, I can easily do that to level it. All I'm going to do, I'm going to check both sides, make sure they're the same height when they're off the ground, that they're not twisted. And then I'll go ahead, start measuring, getting that cross member made. So that's what I'm going to be jumping into right now. Up there, that there is the frame horn for the Ford Ranger. You can see exactly how much lower it sits. This being the radiator support here, and those being the two bolts with the the old rubber pad there. Okay. So there I will put a piece of angle iron channel of C channel coming out, which will go up and it will actually weld there and it'll weld over to here. So this is where you're gonna really start to need to do your measuring. Now what I did, I actually drew a diagram right here. I drew the frame horns, which are the Ford Ranger. This is the rare support for the 55. This is the design I was going to do, which was gonna go across and up with some C-channel here to hold this core support. But I've decided this being the valence with the slot cut out on the original frame for the bumper horns, I decided to use some two by four steel and weld it to the bottom going straight down which will give me enough room that I can build some more material here coming out to mount my front bumper. Then I will simply go from one side straight across and then have my C-channel to hold up the core support. I'm gonna use this two by four inch. This will be welded straight to the bottom of the original Ranger frame horns. I'm gonna measure it down nine inches and cut it. Then box the bottom in and I can attach another section of this to the front to come out to mount my factory bumper. So that's what I'll be using on the bottom of the frame, which that will be what comes out of the hose for the bumper. Now this material here, this is just simply some inch and a half by inch and a half square. This is what I'll be using to go from this channel piece over to my front rear support. And then off of this, I'll have a piece of channel coming up to an angle and it'll have two holes in it for the rubber bushing and then that can bolt directly to this. All right, this right here is my two by four square tubing which will be welded to the bottom of the frame. I have my chop saw here. I'm gonna be cutting two of these pieces nine inches long. So, Using the blade as a marker for my tape measure, I put it at nine inches to the blade, tighten it down. Now we start making our cuts. There's my two pieces, both nine inches. Now, this extra piece here, with this welded at the bottom of the frame, this piece I can put right there and let it be the new frame horn which will bolt the bumper to the front of the truck. We're gonna make the center cross member section. That'll be what holds up the radar support. 
This is what's going to be between these lower frame horns I'm going to make. This right here, this, I'm going to cut 26 inches, which is the inside to inside of my Ranger's frame horn. Something to note, these holes, these are exactly lined up perfect to the Ford Ranger's front uh, frame, horns, that I've cut off. These are the ones that I cut, the two by four tubing, nine inches long. So I'll simply cap the bottom, and I can use another piece to make the horns for my new bumper, or factory bumper. So, seeing that into place, this, can bud directly to it, stick out the front for your front bumper. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some tacking. I know that from the bottom of my frame horn section that I've made, it needs to be an inch and a quarter up to the bottom of this for me to make my center section that I weld to this for my core sport sit on, which I'll be using a C-channel. So going up an inch and a quarter, that's where I will start the bottom of this. I want to introduce everybody to the shop cat. She decided to come in here and see what I was up to. Doing some welding, girl. Doing some welding today. She likes to come in here and watch me work. Are right, looking through where your bumper is here? That's where it's sitting. Okay, I have it welded up there to the frame horn on the Ranger, which is kind of hard to see. I'm going to have to box these bottoms. And there's the bar that I have going all the way across inch and a half. There's where to bolt up. Howdy, friend. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to put a piece right from here of a C-channel all the way up. And I'm going to cut it, cut it at a little bit of an angle at the front. And then I'm going to drill my hose exactly where I need to make it from off of this. For that right there to bolt up. And I've got to get me a piece of rubber going between that as a bushing. And then I'll be able to mount my front end. So that okay, to make my brace, it's going to be the actual piece that the course port is going to be sitting on is going to be this. This is some um, four inch and it is pretty sturdy. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut it four and a half inches, which is sit it away from the cross member I made and sit it out exactly enough that I can drill my two holes, put my rubber on top of that and that's where the bolt to now. <laughs> It's four and a half inches. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually cut an angle on each side of this right here, just on the edge, just to kind of make it look a little bit better than just a piece of angle iron up underneath the truck. I'm gonna go ahead, before I weld this up under the truck, I'm gonna measure from this end out exactly where my two holes need to be, get on that drill press and get those holes drilled. So I've made my marks. I'm gonna go ahead and use this cutoff wheel and I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. I can deburr all my edges, and that right there be ready to weld on after I do my drilling. Alrighty, there it is. That'll be what the course port. Once I drill my two holes, core support will be sitting on. And I used a paint marker to show me exactly where it was at. I actually used the paint marker, just made my first mark, and used the factory bushing to make my second mark. So I'm gonna go ahead. Now I can just put a shampoo on my edges. Got a real 
real nice chamfer. And there's the piece. This is what I just completed. Now, using some old floor mats that I had laying around, I doubled them up on the drill press and cut them. And those will be my new mounts for my support from my front end. So rather than buying one, save you some money, get some old rubber floor mats. That'll be what you do. Okay, here's the piece that I've made, which will go right there. I'm just gonna take my bolts. And I'll stick those through the top side, down through those holes. I got a little bit longer bolts there. I put the first little bushing section in there which I made out of my floor mats that I had left over out of another old car. Put the second one on there to make it real thick. Then, put the piece I made on there. Well done. All right, I put the tack weld on there. Now, hey there, shop cat. You can see, hey, I guess she's hungry. You can see that piece I made sitting up there with my bushing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish tacking all this in so that I can get ready to remove my front end but that's pretty much all there is to it and with these horns right here I can easily put a piece of frame section out going out to here for my bumper all right guys that concludes this video on getting our 1955 Ford front end sitting on our 1998 Ford Ranger chassis making the cross member for them both to work together. Now I'm gonna get down there and finish doing my welds. So once that's done, I can get this hood off and start working on exactly where my wire harness, my breather box, and everything that needs to be bolted to my inner fenders from my Ranger so I can go ahead and cut those out and get those prepped. Because now that I've got my cross member in for the front, I know once that's finished, I can get this front end off and start getting it ready for prep and paint under the hood. Now on this project, you know I'm gonna keep this patina on the outside, but under the hood, I want it to look new. Also, I want it to look new on the interior. So that's some of the process you gotta do, getting everything to fit and line up, and then take it all apart, make it clean, and put it back together. But that's it today. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to message you back as soon as I get the comment. Now, that's it for the day. Well, catch you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.